there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today I have a quick and fun little tutorial on how to crochet a granny square shaped heart and you can use any size yarn that you like. This is uh, the uh, number 10 threads that I've used here. That's a number three thread crochet cotton thread and here this is the one I'm going to demonstrate for you today and I'm just using a number four medium weight yarn. You can use any yarn you like um, with the appropriate size crochet hook. So you just need this, some scissors, a darning needle, um, the yarn of your choice. Yeah. So let's get started. So I'm using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook and a number four medium weight yarn. And again, you can make this in uh, using any size yarn that you like. You're going to start with a start with a slip knot put that on your hook and what we're going to do is we're going to start with a basic granny square in one color and we're going to make two rounds now if you know how to do that you can skip ahead I'll put a time stamp here uh, where we go into the actual heart shape pattern so if you want you can go ahead and do two rounds of a granny square pattern otherwise uh, you can just come along with me and I'll show you how to do that all in one color. So we're going to start with a chain five and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the top loop of that first chain to create a ring. Now you will chain three and that's your first double crochet and you're going to do two more double crochets into the ring. And so this is your first cluster. And then do a chain two. Now you can do a chain three for your corner space if you like. Some people like to do that. It's up to you. I'm going to do a chain two and then do another set of three double crochets into the ring for your next granny square cluster. Whoops, and a chain two or three, whatever you like. So you're going to do that two more times, set of three double crochets, chain two or three, and I'll see you at the end there. All right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna join this round by doing a slip stitch into one, two, three, the third chain of your beginning chain three, and do a slip stitch. Now, because we're working in one color, we're going to slip stitch over to this chain two space here. So you just want to go in under the V stitch, the two top loops of that first stitch with a slip stitch. Go into this next one with a slip stitch. And then the third, this is up to you. You could jump right over into the space, but I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then we're in that space with a slip stitch. Now we're going to work a corner. So you do a chain three and then two double crochets into your chain two space. and then a chain two or three, just depends on how you wanna do your corners, and then another set of three double crochets into that chain two space. I just need to get some yarn here. And that's two and three. Now chain one, and go into the next chain two space and work another corner. So you're going to repeat that all the way around, working a corner into each chain two space, doing a set of three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, and then a chain one, and go over to your next chain two space. And you're going to work that all the way around. And I will see you when you get there and that's where you can join in if you've already gone ahead and done your two rounds of a granny square motif. So carry on, I'll see you there. 
Welcome back. So just coming around and I've just come out of the corner, done my chain one. You're going to join to that beginning chain three, going into the third chain of that beginning chain three with a slip stitch. Now again, you're going to slip stitch over to your uh, chain two corner there. So there's one, two, and there's one more there. And again, you could just scooch over into there and not do this third one, but I like to do that. So then slip stitch into that chain two space. Now this is where we're going to begin our heart shape. So we're going to go over into this chain one space and we're going to do 10 treble crochets into this chain two space. You might think they won't fit, but they will. So do a to do a treble, you're going to yarn over twice. This is an American treble. Go into the chain one space, pull your yarn through. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's your first treble. And it's gonna lean that way, but that's okay because you're gonna put 10 of them in here. So yarn over twice, go back in and do another treble. And you're going to repeat that eight times until you have 10 treble crochets. So I'll see you when, did I do a treble there? Did I? I don't know if I did, huh? Okay, so anyways, do 10 trebles, yarning over twice. So off you go and I'll see you once you've done 10. Welcome back. So there's 10 treble crochets. Now what you have here is your chain two space and you're just going to do a slip stitch into that chain two space. And that's gonna bring one side of the heart down. Then you go over to the next chain one space and you're going to do 10 more trebles. So go ahead and do 10 treble crochets into that next chain one space and I'll see you when that's done. All right, there's nine and one more makes 10. So there's 10 and then you're going to go over into the next chain two space and do a slip stitch. And then get your scissors and cut that off. You're gonna pull that through and snug that up. You can do a chain one to, if you wanna fasten off there. Um, but otherwise you can just fasten off and you're going to darn your tail end into the back here. And there is your heart shape with the granny square motif. Now I'll go ahead and darn in my tail end and I'll come back. All right, there you go. And I've darned in the tail ends there and I brought in the the other motifs as well. So super easy tutorial. And you know, these, these uh, using the bigger yarn, you could even make a cute little heart pillow. And I do have a tutorial on how to make a pin cushion using granny squares. And I'll put a link to that below. And all you'd have to do is make an inner pillow that's the shape of a heart. And you'd make two motifs and you join them together just like I did in the pin cushion. So I'll put a, a link for that below. So yeah, just a super fun, easy, uh, heart-shaped tutorial just in time for Valentine's Day. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more creative and inspiring videos. We'll see you next time.